Number one need, according to the Bible, Ephesians chapter 5 and Ephesians chapter 5 verse 32 is love. The word of a woman revolves around the word love. Every action of her, every thought of her, revolves around the word love and care, around the word compassion. So you should learn to show that love. Be tender to her, Arturo, throughout your lifetime. Take care of her. You are marrying a very beautiful woman. Let her are respect. Okay. Your age should not be a reason for you to dominate Arturo. I don't know personally your background, whether you are a choleric or melancholic or phlegmatic or whatever. Okay. But the Bible teaches that the leader of the home is the man. As I have said during our counseling, the man is the king, the woman is the queen, the man is the house builder, the woman is the homemaker. There is complementarity of roles and functions in the home and even outside the home. He takes care of the rough in life, he takes care of the finer things in life. That is, say for example, in the home, he, he handles all the things of house building. But you have to turn those, that building into something very homely, very something that would make the heart glow and wonder, especially when the children will be there already. Okay. Make the environment of the home something appreciated something love something that is long for your by your husband later on and also your children yung kagigiliwan ng mga bata ang bumalik sa bahay ninyo nakasalala yun sa iyo so you have to make that create that environment but arturo you will be the helper there in the bible the woman is the helper suitable companion of a woman while you differ in gender okay you have the same dignity in the sight of God okay let's move to the next letter letter E enjoyment throughout your lifetime you will have many moments of enjoyment of being together Arturo remember this Psychologically and emotionally, a woman, a man, a man's world revolves around work, sports, cars. Don't let those consume all your time to the point that you neglect your wife. And if the Lord would bless you with children, that you don't have time with your children. Divide equally your time for God your time for work and your time for your family as I've said during our counseling should there be children later on in your home spend time with your children because children will not remain as children they would grow they would become young adults and if you miss those years of taking care of them nurturing them guiding them during their growing years I'll tell you when they are grown up you will miss hugging them. You want to see them, but they are no longer around. They may have gone to Manila or any places. They may even say when they are already in their 20s, Papa, I'm now gone. I'm now through with my studies. Will you allow me to go to Taiwan? Will you allow me to go to Saudi Arabia? You want to what? Embrace them. But they'll be saying, Papa, hello, bye-bye, hi. Can you imagine that? So, when you will have like this enjoy being with them hold their hands hug them kiss them especially you as a mother you be the first teacher of your children that is your first responsibility okay. when you will have your own children it will not last long that's why you have to enjoy those moments of being with your children i tell you there might come a time you might reach the period of your life that we have reached. Watch that stage. 
when there is the so-called emptiness stage where the children are grown up they are already gone and you will be left behind only looking at each other and the only companion of yours in the home is either a cat or a dog early in the morning you rise up they eat you're looking at each other do do wake to jaya and then what are the children they're all grown up they're all professionals they have their own lives so if you miss those years when the children are growing up i tell you when you reach that stage in your 50s 60s when it's then you you want to embrace your children there are no more if you would be committed to your family you know the effect of it the result letter s security you will be secured in its other arm because you know that you are cared for by your partner but of you it you will have the feeling that you're secure okay wherever you go out and then return back you know that someone is waiting for you who is ready to embrace you there you're secured in the arms of Jennifer and you will be secured in the arms of Arturo then imagine you are tired from work and then all of a sudden when you come home oh my your husband or your wife is what he's ready there to embrace you daddy how are you or mommy how are you then give you sense of security another thing is on the part of the children later on who oh, they know that when the children are out there someone is there waiting for them daddy and mommy are there waiting for them to embrace them and say hello how are you how did you do in your what classes today did you enjoy your work did you enjoy your studies and all that provides you security especially if they see love between you as i've said okay for that to be complete never quarrel in front of your children if you are to quarrel okay go into your bedroom lock it and then what okay you talk there in the bedroom there but never show that in front of the children especially in the what when you are eating either in the morning or noon or evening time never do that yeah you know why children are so very hard that they would be able to observe that is mommy but they go mimic okay na karupang it guy no that you know and they will be asking you daddy Napa ni terupam kestaka ada spider. You see, there. It gives feeling of, madi disturb you mga bata pagka nang kanya mai dan. I tell you, they're very observant. They will say, jadi macam kaganya, nak kaganya. Ah, there, there. But if they would sense that there is happiness, there is good relationship happening between them. Okay, we the ding, itu kita mancan. Okay, there. There's a feeling of one. They're secure, and as they grow up, even as they pass through different trials and difficulties in life, they are secure that even they pass through the challenges of adolescence, their parents are there to be with them, to support them. Ganyan ang pakiramdam ng mga bata. And where did it come from? In a secure marital relationship, which you are going to create. Whatever that future is, much of that lies in your hands. But overall, for your marriage to succeed, you have always to make God the center of your home. For in Psalm 127, it tells us that, okay, unless the house, unless the Lord builds the house, those that uh, build it will be will labor in vain. So make it a point that. Every moment, every day of your life, you always have to consult God through prayers, through worshiping Him. Go to church together. Don't, when the children are there already, don't send them. Go with them to the church. Pray with the children. Pray for each other. Don't say, oh, karakang. Okay. Do that. Let's say, brother, invite your partner. Let's pray together. Let's pray with your children. It's like that. If this word cares, I hope you remember them. Letter C, commitment. Letter A, acceptance. R, respect. E, enjoyment. Being together. And then, okay, S, what is it? Security. With all of these things that I just said. The homily is over. Mine is a little bit counseling for everybody. Okay? Now.
Iti pa nag-asawa yun. Kung naan na ni Pastor Itatay, manong plano yung anak? Ha? Talo. Lalaingam. Kaya kapkaboy. Okay? Talo. Okay? Intun at the anak yun, kat agung ungot ka katagi ti anak, sumangpot nila kay mo, han mo kong mga iramraman ni Noel, nga kasla anak mo, nga intun sa lodsode na bakit apay nga agung ungot ka, Kikunam to mo, may isa ka may, laka yan. Agbalintun nga kasla anak mo, pati iso na ungong tam. Okay? Haan ko mga kasyay niya. Intun gumatang kayo kadag itigam gamit yu, iti pagtayangan. Washing machine, paglutuan, unuan yaman. Dapat amin nga gatangem pang unisex. Di washing machine dapat pang unisex, Jennifer. Talo saan, siksikan tula ang taglablaba. Dapat unisex tap ni Suna aglaba. Ura di paglutuan. Ha? Pang unisex, tiga tangan nyo. Kahit nasa when you will help each other. Okay? Kitain nyo, nagitininong ninang nyo. Mamuyo amin ida. Be sure to know them all. Ang nga dapat nga nadalaan nga nakasapulan nyo kat imayda. In any time where you have problems, they are the people where you can seek counsel. Okay? Counsel lang ah. Ngayon no kwarta, kada mabalin mo. Ano niya? Sponsor. Hanga ka si Jai? Because they are the source of your strength as well. It is not this time only where you need them. That's why I'm telling you to be familiarized with their faces if you do not know them all. Okay? Because you take them as your sponsor, they are very much important in your life. Okay? And of course, above all, I would like to go back with the best counsel that Pastor Castillo had mentioned. Even though you forget everything whatever counsel that we have made today do not forget the Lord it is only in Him and through Him that will make your relationship strong your relationship successful and your relationship will become meaningful may God bless you not only materially but even with the desire of having three kids and of course a wonderful life being together together with your parents and the rest of the members of the family. <laughs>